Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and when you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So, today I'm doing an update because I haven't sat and compiled everything that's been going on recently and I want to kind of have a video that brings together what month it's been so far. So yeah, let's get in with the video. So I think the biggest thing that's happened this month is I met my dad. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it on the iCard up there. That was a very big deal for me because I haven't seen him in I don't even know how long. And getting back in touch with him really has helped improve my mental health because it just felt before we started talking I kind of felt a bit isolated, a bit alone and not exactly cared for. That's changed. I was with my dad for four days. I went on the Thursday, I was there Friday, Saturday and then mid-afternoon Sunday I came home and yeah it worked well the next big thing that happened is i got discharged from mental health services which is amazing i haven't been stable this long in such a long time and it's meant that i've been able to go and do things yes i still struggle with anxiety with things and yes my medication is still a bit mixed up but i'm going to make an appointment with my gp and my GP will hopefully put my clonazepam back to midday. But that's a big deal for me. I've been under mental health services since I was 13. So it's nice to actually be getting somewhere with that. And I feel so happy to have been discharged. And yeah, I just I feel really great about it. it. It did make me stumble a bit when I first got discharged. Because I have been under mental health services for most of my life. So... From that perspective it was a bit daunting going into it and honestly I wasn't prepared for it. I wasn't expecting that to be the outcome of that appointment. I was expecting to have my medication put back to how it used to be but that didn't happen. But yeah it's been a pretty eventful month but yeah it's been a pretty eventful month. Honestly I, I just I'm so overwhelmed with everything <laughs> in a good way in a good way but it, it definitely has caught me off guard this month so what my medication so my, my medication is complicated in the mornings i take bisoprolol atrovastatin enthoglyphrosin folic acid and lanzoprazole at night i take clonazepam trazodone Vortioxetine, Haloperidol, Lithium. There's another one I take that I can't remember the name of. I don't know. I'm missing one. But at night I take a lot of medication because it's all sedating. That's fun. I sleep like a baby though, so... <laughs> Yay! When I'm medicated for sleep, I sleep. If I'm not on medication to help me sleep, I can't sleep. The sleeping tablet I take is Trazodone, so it's an antidepressant, but it, the, it has sedating effects. So I take that and yeah, it works well for me. So that's kind of just, yeah, that's the end of the update. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new, subscribe. Peace.